Welcome back, everybody. It is time to do the next featured episode on my KDF character. She is an engineer, and let's do this on the KDF side. Episodes featured Delta Flight. Captain Tom Paris has requested your ship for a joint mission with his task force. I won't lie to you. We're not making much headway against the Iconian so far. You and your crew have proven to be capable of fighting them. Delta Flight is one of the only other teams to do so. Together, perhaps you can start to turn the tide. Report to the Cal Bryden system. Captain Paris and his team are waiting for you there. Excellent, and it looks like we will get that unique Polaric modulator, which I will definitely take. So let's get there. Let's see, where are we? We are here, and Cal Bryden is up here. I like that we can turn faster in sector space now. That's very nice. While that's going on, let me check my assignments here. We've got one completed. Marauding, there's another one ready to go. Ooh, I don't meet requirements on that. Ooh, I don't meet requirements. What am I missing to do that? I am missing a lot of things. Entertainers. Wow, look how many entertainers that one requires. Why do you need so many entertainers? Entertain influential black market people. Hmm. Okay, we've used up all of our slipstream already. As we head to Cal Bryden. Now, as you change sectors, your um, assignments update. Anyway, I've got three going now of marauding. We'll keep that going. All right. So, so far I have noticed playing the last mission, there weren't that many changes as far as playing it on the Klingon side. The only change I noticed was at the very end. But otherwise, the dialogue seemed to be the same on the KDF side, and the gameplay was the same. Um, I'm assuming this will probably end up being the same too. Um, I guess... I was expecting maybe a little bit more customization being on a different faction, maybe a little bit different dialogue, but I guess not. Here we go, Delta Flights. You are cleared for transport. Let's do this. Here we go, and of course we've got Moral Paris. Sir, we'll be monitoring the system for Herald Patrols. The transporter room will be standing by to beam us up. Welcome to the USS Byrne. Normally I'm the security chief and second officer on the USS Kirk, but she took heavy damage during the battle in the Lenas system. Until she gets out of dry dock, I and many of the crew accepted temporary postings to other ships. I wasn't expecting to get a request to join my father's task force, but Delta Flight is doing some good. I want to help. Is it difficult working with your father? It's not that unusual. My grandfather was an admiral, and my mom, and most of the people I consider my extended family are either in Starfleet or are like Seven, who might as well be. Truthfully, I think Dad's finding this more difficult than I am. It'll be good to work with you. I'm looking forward to it too. I don't know what crazy scheme my father's cooked up this time, but the more off the wall his ideas are, the more they seem to work. With you on the team, I'm sure we'll complete this mission. But let me know if you need me to translate. Dad has this habit of talking in phrases that went out of style 400 years ago. No problemo, because I am from 400 years ago. Alright, let's talk to everybody. Now, if the dialogue looks to be similar to what we played on the Federation side, I probably will not stick through the entire dialogue, because that will be very timely, and we've already heard it all. See my Federation playthrough if you want to get the full dialogue. If I notice the dialogue's different, then I'll listen to all of it. I'm Kana Jinnis, the team scout. 
No one's better than I am at finding trouble. And believe me, I've found plenty. Okay, it's good same. to get a chance to know everyone on the team before the action starts. It's bad enough fighting the hell. Yep, all that dialogue there is the same. Pretty much what I am expecting at this point is that it all will be. Jolon True. Do you understand ancient Earth? Two humor? weeks from retirement, yeah. I thought so. Look, when things get messy out there, and they will. That's good. Hello there. I'm Ferrix, and I'm a. You know, one of the things I've enjoyed the most about. Yeah, he still to... wants to have a drink with me. That's good. Let's talk to the Klingon. I wonder if the Klingon will recognize me being on the KDF side. Let's find out. Warrior! Yes. Join with us and stab at the heart of the Iconians. We will either be victorious or we race towards Stovacor. Today is a good day. I like that. So Guroth here, Guroth, yeah, Guroth, recognizes us on the KDF side. Now, we're not a Klingon. We are an Orion, but still, we are of the KDF faction, so we are a warrior and we can say Kapla. I am the team's weapons expert. Most weapons on ships are too puny. I make them strong. Hmm. So that was nice. All right, and of course, Andrew Weston. Andrew Weston, all around genius. Don't let the lack of pips on my collar fool you. I'm just as good as anyone from Starfleet. Better even, because I don't let the rules get in my way. I spent some time at the Academy, but I left when I realized, sure, Kirk reprograms the code. Just because I'm not as stiff doesn't mean I don't want to help win the Yep, yeah, that was all the same. Okay. Let's talk to Paris. Thanks for coming. Nice to see you again, especially after what happened at New Romulus and Lanus. As you well know, the war is not going too well. Delta flight is one okay. of the ways... Oh, not much. We're just going to slip it. Let's do it. All that looked the same as well, so no need to rehash all that. All right. So this used to be Calbriden 3. Intelligence believes that the Iconians destroyed the planet to gather materials for a subspace disruption device. We think they intend to use this device to open a door for their Solanae forces to enter our space. A whole new fleet for the Iconians? We can't let that happen. Exactly. But the planetary debris has created an asteroid field, and the mineral content of those asteroids will shield us from the Iconian sensor arrays. I've plotted a course for us, but we'll still need to watch for the Herald patrols. The station with the device is in the center of the debris. Weston will override their computers while we run interference. Once the station shields are down, we'll eliminate it and the device with extreme prejudice. Is that another reference from that ancient program about impossible missions you like to watch? Uh, something like that. The Alliance doesn't have a fleet to send against this station. We're it. If we can't do it, no one can. So, no pressure. I hope you're all ready to do the best flying you've ever done, because that's what we're going to need to complete this mission. Let's head them up and move them out. Yeehaw! Dismissed. Let's get the wagon wheels going. Okay, transport me to my bridge, please. And warp out. All right. The rubble in our way used to be the planet known as Calbriden 3. Uninhabited, luckily. But they had high amounts of token. The Heralds have set up a security beacon at the. Let's do that. Let's fly up on it, cloaked, shall we? Although everybody else is not cloaked. Okay, Weston. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to take down this security grid. We only have a limited amount of time before a patrol comes by and finds us. I need help inputting the proper... Oh, yes, I've got it. Ooh, oh, I missed it already. <laughs> that was terrible. Here we go. Green, green. And green. Here we go. We've Execute. done it. Hurry. The security perimeter won't stay down. Okay, here's the good news. The topoline and the planetary debris will hide us from the Herald sensors. Now keep the larger deposits between... How would you rate your piloting abilities? Okay, now, I would rate my piloting abilities very good, in fact. 
Now, if I were in a maneuverable ship, I would choose hard. And in fact, I was thinking about doing hard on this. But then I thought, in the last gameplay, uh, in the last video we just did, this ship moved a lot more slower than I had anticipated. I've, I've gotten used to faster escorty type ships lately. And this one moves very slow. And I remember in my original gameplay, I had a generally good moving ship and I did normal. I could probably do that all right. But because this particular ship that I am in maneuvers very slow, I'm going to go with the easy mode. Capably, I am capable of hard. But this ship is not really capable of hard. You know what I mean? It's just, it, it, it turns and moves very slow. And the next ship I'm going to do on the Romulan side, it moves even slower, if you can imagine that. So I am going to choose easy mode, but that's only because of the current ship that I'm in. I will try hard mode on a an escort or something like that, but for this run, I'm going to go easy. Hopefully you understand my reasoning on that one. Bringing up your navigational HUD, now. This try to stick to the path I've ship outlined. turns kind of slow. And they still only give you 10 seconds between each one, or a little bit, a little bit more than that. The mineral content of the asteroids will shield us from the Herald sensors. Try to stay in formation with the rest of the squadron. I'm gonna try to hit every one here. I know I missed some on the original run through, so I'm gonna try to hit every one this time. I, I completely missed going through the center Let's of the kick asteroid. The tires and light the fires. After we destroyed the center of the asteroid, I completely missed I'm going not through sure it. What that means. For some, some reason, kind of alpha quadrant thing. I went around. I, I think I missed this I'll one too. Later, this one, this one's a hard turn Fire right here. Fire proton packs, kids. The next turn is a tight one. That was a hard turn to do. I think I missed that the first time. Easy enough for a talented, handsome pilot like myself. Look at that turn. Maybe we have to back up a little bit. That's a hard Everyone's turn. Everyone's mom tells them they're handsome, Ferrix. But I want to hit everyone. Fire. Ow, I'm wounded. Fewer asteroids through here. More chances of being spotted. Race you! Torpedoes loaded We're and luck. ready! Sensors show that this asteroid is mostly hollow. If we blow through where the rock is thick. Fire! Fire in the hole! It's a lot of torpedoes. Yeah, I can't believe I completely like went around the asteroid the last time I did this. Like, duh, the whole reason for blowing a hole in it is to go through it. This reminds me of what? flying through Earth's space. Did I miss something? <laughs> they don't like it when you do that in full impulse. Yeah. Uh, wait. Who let Ferrix fly inside ESD? Weston? No comment. Wonder why that popped up. Did I miss a ring? I don't think I miss a ring. Maybe I missed Let's it on going. timing. I wanted to do this flawlessly. That was the goal, Fasten at least. Seat it's gonna be a bumpy night. There's got to be like <laughs> hidden hidden I've accolades. I've worse in the Badlands. Hidden accolades for like hitting all the rings or not having to run into patrols or something like that, I'm sure. Whoa, Morale! Watch the paint job there, Tiger! Don't be a rear seat pilot! I think you mean backseat driver. But we're flying, uh, sir. This, is a, this ship is hard to make tight turns in. Herald patrol up ahead. Take them out before they can warn the others. Yep, I got an accolade cruising. 
Oh, there's a stupid sun on me. I'm jamming their outgoing transmissions, but it won't last. Shields are down. We're taking on boarding parties. Damn it. Hang on, we're all. I'm bringing a team over to help. That was not difficult at all. How did you get boarding parties? That was so easy. Well, here comes we the ground over here. ground mission of this mission. My team and the Burns crew have cleared most of the boarding. All right, I'll come and save your butts. Basically, that's what you're saying. Save me, save me. I will save you. Take out the constructs. No problemo. Do some jump kicking. Save Tom Paris. All in a day's work. Fell back here to grab some phaser rifles and got bottled up. The bridge crew has sealed off the bridge and locked the ship's... Now that you and your team are here, we... Let's go. Drop emergency force field. Can do. And just because we want to take these people out easily, let's set up some stuff here. There we go. And now we can drop the force field and look, it's already doing things. Drop the force field. Oh, you just decided to run around everything, didn't you? Fused construct. No going through those doors. I'll tell you, this Voth anti-proton gun that I'm using it works really good on them. I'll show it to you here in a second, but um, maybe not so much on the fuse constructs. It takes a few shots to take them down, but the others, I don't know, it works pretty good. Let's see what I'm using here. It's just a Mark 12 Voth anti-proton wide beam pistol, Mark 12. Not even a 13 or 14 marked weapon. Doing pretty good. Moral! Welcome to the party. We could use a little help. Well, you've got it. Get that defiler out of the way, they're annoying. Hey, there we go, we win. That wasn't too difficult. Morale. I think that's the last of them. What's our status? Your ship is damaged and you have crew in sick bay, Morale. I don't want any unnecessary casualties. I have great respect for your abilities, but if this is some sort of Klingon, glory seeking, never give up, today hey, is a what good do day you to mean die by kind that? of thing. Last time I did remain silent. This time I'm, I'm, well, on the Klingon side, so let's say, what's wrong with all that Klingon glory-seeking stuff? That's what I do, too. Today is a good day to die. <laughs> That's the right. The Iconians are going to destabilize subspace from here to Alpha Centauri, and use that to bring over an entire fleet of ships as twisted and horrific as the Solonae who built them. We stop them here. Now. You said it yourself, Dad. We're the only ones who can do this. Hmm. 
Yeah, morale and the rest of who knows at stake, Tom. As much as I hate to say it, you're right. <laughs> if we live through this, your mom is going to be so proud. I know a few of Andrew's tricks. Good job on the computers, morale, but... Okay, let's restore power relays. Let's restore computer control. That does it. Let's and return to my ship. Because for some reason she couldn't get her crew to do that. I had to do that. Still don't understand that. The heralds are gonna notice one. Well, let's move then. I don't want to miss any rings here, so let's try to hit every Time single ring. Time to pick ring. up the pace, people. I got some scans of those ships. Should give me an advantage when we get to the station. We're coming up on the center of their operations. For some reason, we're going to go way up here. Detecting Solanae energy signatures ahead. Oh, Solanae, ugh. They give me the creeps. Well, I did hit every ring. Target the ships defending the station. Got that one out of the way. And got that one out of the way. And that one's gone. <laughs> Look at him falling like flies. Weston, you're up. We'll keep him busy. Keep him busy? We On destroyed them all. <laughs> Iconian energy signature detected. Evasive maneuvers. Pattern, Paris Delta 2. Oh, Andrew! There goes Weston. We need to abort. We can't do this without Weston. I can do it. Andrew gave me a backup copy of his algorithms in case something happened. We're... We're falling back. Dad, I know you mean well, but I have to do this. You know what will happen if the Solene can break through. We'll lose everything. Can't we just like, okay, do this because there's like Iconians you can be almost as stubborn as hanging your mother, out there in but space, I know when I'm beat. Ready to blow us up? All right, people, you heard her. We're going in hot. Cover her all ships so she can finish this. During this whole 15 we second conversation, the Iconians could have taken us out. <laughs> I'm just saying. <clears throat> During that long communication scene, the Iconians could have one shot at us all. Doing quite a bit of damage to him. Look at that. The station shields are down. It can be damaged. Okay, now we gotta take out these shielding nodes. We're getting there. Attack the dreadnought. Can do. Where are you, dreadnought? You just happen to pop out right at the right time, huh? Four shields failing. Two 
nodes left on the station. Take them out now. Okay, can do that. Last node, destroy it, and we can take out the dreadnought and finish this. Would love to. All right, let's see if we can get over here a little faster. Come on. Turn, turn, turn. Shields are offline. Destroy the dreadnought. Okay, good. Dreadnought destroy in time. It's way over there on the other side. Can't move. Going down, Dreadnought. Down, I say. Awesome. There we go. She is gone. That's how you do that. I think I even got a mastery upgrade. Yeah, I got my something and it's third not mastery just upgrade. Shields up. I think they're activating the station. They're trying to bring the Solene through. Give me just a... got it. Core shields down. Hit him now. Destroy the station. Detecting a power surge. I have their main computer. They're still trying to start the conversion process, but their shields are completely down. Okay, let's blow up this thing and head home. We're being pulled in. Evasive maneuvers. And there you go. Mission successful. I found something interesting in the computer system before the station blew. It's yep. coordinates another, for another sphere, sphere probably will be and our the station is destroyed or and we've completed our mission but not without paying a price Weston exactly it's been a pleasure flying with you maybe we can do it again sometime thank you Kevin Harris and accolade 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 maybe we have to turn this in first let's see Delta flight hail Katie yep. losing Weston is regrettable but we needed a victory today thanks to you we have one Defeating a Herald Dreadnought is a significant achievement. Destroying their station and keeping the Solene locked in subspace is even more valuable. The number of ships and soldiers we have is finite. We cannot allow the Iconians to have a numerical advantage as well as a technological one. I will examine the files Lieutenant Commander Paris managed to recover from the Herald computers. Perhaps a strike on this base she found will be our next move. So we get a specialization qualification. We can make one of our uh, bridge officers a pilot bridge officer for the new pilot ships. Let's take the Polaric Modulator. That's the unique console here. It's not part of a set, but it is a unique console. It's the only one of its kind. Let's take it. There we go, from Paris with love. And that, my folks, is Delta Flight on the KDF. Pretty much exactly the same as the Federation, just a tad bit of dialogue difference because we are on the KDF side dealing with the Klingon Guroth. Otherwise, the same mission, the same dialogue, nothing really different there. I guess I was expecting more, but really what can they do? It's pretty much the same mission through and through on both factions. Well, I'm glad I did that. That helped me uh, get some more skill points on this character, get a couple of unique items, and will definitely help 
Well, thank you all for watching this on the KDF faction. Next, I will be jumping on the Romulan faction and doing both of these missions as well. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Yeah.